Hello, people of the internet. Good good afternoon and good evening. Excuse the squeaky chair, but we are continuing on with the requests from the community page post. Um, if you do still want to get your requests in, uh, I'm going to keep the post open until the 25th when I start recording. Because once the 25th starts rolling around, we have a very busy schedule uh, in terms of upcoming releases. Let me actually tell you exactly what's coming out. So 25th, we have Le Seraphim. We've got XG. We've got Super Junior's Yesung. 26th, we've got Wendy and Mellomance. We've got Aimers on the 27th. We've got TXT on the 27th. We've got One Wii on the 28th. We've got two debuts on the 30th. NCT127 on the uh, the 30th. BBG on the 31st. There's a lot that's coming up. But I do have time to get in some requests here and there, so if you do want to get your last minute requests in, go over to the community page on the channel and I will, barring any that don't make it past copyright, YouTube content ID copyright and stuff like that, I will get around to those. So make, make your voices be heard. Give me some suggestions over on there. But today, we're continuing with the requests, uh, specifically Ohio in the 90s. Thank you for your suggestion. Now. You recommended a few things. Uh, you Usually with these, I just went in order of the things that were listed on the comment. So, Ohio in the 90s originally uh, suggested the CSR's debut, uh, Sequence 7272 album. I've listened to that album already a lo loads of times. In fact, I think I've listened to CSR's entire discography, which isn't that much, mind you, but... I quite enjoyed their 7272 album, and I have playlisted and I've listened to it already. Um, but you also recommended some OSTs, which is always a welcome thing. We don't really get to check out OSTs all that often, apart from on Saturdays, as you know. Um, BBC Yuna has done an OST called Do You Know That? Uh, from the drama I Know This. Uh, Forbidden Marriage. There we go. Forbidden Marriage OST Part 2. So we are going to be checking that out today. Once again, thank you very much, Ohio in the 90s. Miss BBG. Miss Yuna from BBG. On a solo OST track. Can't remember if I've listened to any solo works from her before. So this will be very interesting. She has a very unique, cutesy voice on... BBG and even G Fred tracks, so how is she going to rock an OST? What is it going to sound like? I have no idea. I don't even know much about the show. The only thing I know about uh, Forbidden Marriage is that Minju, formerly of Eyes One, is on it. But, you know, I am ready for some music. Uh, does this actually have captions? No, it doesn't. Okay. Take the visuals. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, slow song. Ooh. Whoa. It's so airy. It's almost like a lullaby at this point. It's so slow and it's so dainty almost. are really taking all the right boxes. Strings, ballad, OSTs. Oh. I won't lie, this song is not going the direction I thought this would be going. It's like the way the song swells with the vocals and with the instrumentals is unlike any OST I've listened to in a hot minute. It's like the song pulses.
dainty high voice though does work really well for this. Nice little dissonant chord there. Her voice that was so gentle. And just the way the song flows underneath her vocals were just... It almost feels like a heartbeat with the way it just constantly swells forward and back. Mm. All right. This was this was different. This was I never... Mm, I'm trying to think. I have like three different thoughts going in my head at once, and I think I just tried to combine it all at once. Um, I'm trying to think if Yuna had much solo work during her g friend days. And even in BBG, in like a group context, her voice primarily has been that like cutesy tone that like everyone kind of knows Yuna for. So hearing her sing in this manner is so different to me. But it's almost like this side has always been there and just never gets a chance to shine in the group songs. I think with me and how I kind of perceive Yuna as an artist, it's always very interesting because her personality is always, like, that really cutesy, like, lovable being, right? Like, take her on Queendom, for example, as part of BBC. She was always the one that's, like, radiating sunshine, and she, she was what Chu is like to Luna, the one that's always bringing the smiles and is always the emotional one is always really cutesy and you kind of want to like protect with your whole being but she and she's also a super talented vocalist but i feel like in a group context we only really get to see like the cutesy side of you know much more now because there's only three of them and rearranging like the vocal parts and things you know, oftentimes we'll get the higher notes in the VBG songs. But give her, like, a solo like this, where it's just slow and emotive and so gentle that just naturally more fits her personality. Like, music, musical personality, I think, fits so well. It's so pretty. And this is nothing against G-Friend, far from it. And this is nothing against BBG, far from it. But when you have a member of a group peel off to do a solo work, you're always going to see something different. And this is no exception. And while I don't understand the concept of the show, because I've never seen it, as an OST to a drama where it looks like it's a historical romance drama of some sort, right? So there's lots of emotions at play. And within the song, you can really feel emotion in a way where it's... You can feel it almost as like what it is, a human... It's not a construct, but like a part of being human. It's the emotion of like understanding something emotionally is the ebbs and flows behind what emotion is and the song portrays that so well with the way it just slowly builds and slowly recedes and the ebbs and the flows and how Yuna's voice also on top is like is super gentle like the breeze blowing through the trees and it the song sets a glorious 
just mental scenery. And it's so pretty. And I mentioned before, but VBZR having a comeback at the end of the month. And oh my goodness, the teaser photos they have dropped are lethal. And I am so excited because it will officially be their third release as VBZ. And if you know anything about third releases, I always say that they are one of the most important milestones for a group because it determines which way they're going to go, I think. So, yes, tremendously excited for that and very much impressed. Once again, thank you, Ohio in the 90s, for the suggestion. I very much enjoyed it. But that's it from me today. If you want to check out more from me, channel icon is up there. You can find the back catalog of stuff watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.